All right, tubers, this time we got something really special. Today we have a 727. Most of you guys have never seen one, been in one, looked at one, fooled around with one, but I spent uh, 2,500 hours at this panel right here. I spent another 1,000 hours in that seat there, and I quit before I got to be a captain. I went to work on 747s. But anyway, now this. In my cold dart start series we're going to motor the engines on this airplane today i don't know if we'll get this done or run out of time but anyway let's start like we always do the first thing we do on any airplane is find and close the battery switch there we go now i already tested the fire detection this is the apu panel on the 727 i already tested it so we're just going to go ahead and start the apu put the on you can hear the fuel valve open Put the start. And there it goes. APU's cranking down there at the bottom. You hear the igniters running in the radio. Now on this APU, the earlier ones, we actually have exhaust tap. And the earlier ones had a, uh, a tack, a 0 to 100 tack. This one doesn't have it. He's just got the amp drawn there. Alright. Sounds to me like the APU's up to speed. Let me close this door. Maybe hear something. Now on this airplane, everything, everything is manual. You will do everything all by yourself. Now, in this case here, let's find the uh, the power switch. Let's see what we got. Here's APU, and we got 400 cycle, 115 volt. Now, on this airplane, check. Okay, here's your hydraulic pumps. The electric pumps are off. Engine-driven pumps are always on and left on. They only work when the engines are started. So, this is the ground inner tech ground interconnect between A and B system hydraulics it is closed fuel pumps are all off what you're looking for is when you put the APU online we're not going to uh, power something we don't want to power okay so everything looks normal here let's go back here and put the APU on online now the APU is powering the whole airplane now then we're not going to start the engines but we are going to motor the engines. So all of the engine uh, indicators are here. Here's your oil pressure. There's the exhaust gas temp, or the oil temp, I'm sorry, and the oil quantity here. On this particular airplane, the, the Pratt Whitney JT80 engines, you have to motor them or idle them to make sure that the oil quantity is accurate. These are going to move a great deal once we motor the engines. And we'll see that here in a second. Okay, how much air pressure we have? We have 45 psi. Both packs are off, so we're not we're not going to run packs. Uh, the engine bleed valves are all open. Hang on. 